ESG demands of investors have changed over the last couple of years in probably two major ways. The first one is that we've seen a move from excluding bad companies to engaging with the laggards who have a transition potential. I think this is a fundamental difference between what was happening before and what is happening now. Recognizing the fact that if you want to really accelerate the transition, you need to help companies and use your influence as active owners so that the strategic direction of those companies is geared towards uh, a transition. The second way it has changed, at the time we're seeing a lot of strategies that were focusing on investing on best-in-class companies. So the companies in each sectors that had the best corporate behavior. Now what we're seeing is much more appetite for thematic opportunities. Companies whose exposure and whose business is to produce services or products that provide a solution to the social or environmental challenges that we face. So that's the second, the second change we've seen. So from exclusion to engagement, from best in class to thematic investing. The environmental uh, dimension of ESG is taking quite a lot of uh, air time and, and I think rightly so because it has by far probably the most dramatic consequences. It has an impact on S as well. So therefore, solving the climate crisis is absolutely critical for the long-term survival of, of, you know, of humans. However, we've had as well, besides the climate crisis, three other crises that have happened recently. The geopolitical crisis, a uh, health crisis, and these are you know, linked to the S, and more recently, a banking crisis, which is uh, mainly due to governance issues. So I think we need to address all three pillars, the environmental pillar, the social pillar, and the governance pillar when we look at uh, ESG. There's a, a transition between from exclusion to engagements. Why is that? Excluding a company is like throwing your garbage in your neighbor's lawn. There will always be another buyer willing to take some additional risk for potential short-term returns. If you want to really accelerate the pace and the impact of the transition, you need to talk to the big offenders. And by being able to use your power as an owner, individually or through collaborative initiatives, to engage in that constructive dialogue, to accelerate that transition, you have a much bigger impact than simply ignoring the problem, selling out, and passing on the issue to another, another owner.